Hey guys, how's it going? Super Koopa here with a little Let's Play for you of New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. Boy, that title is always a mouthful, and I can never quite understand why. But yeah, I thought I would do this just because, well, number one, it's one of my favorite modern Mario games of all time. But number two, because it's quick, it's easy, and I've beaten it almost a dozen times, and I never get tired of it. I know there are people who really don't like the new Super Mario Bros. series. I can't figure out why. I think it's probably because it's so easy. But, you know, I'm going to play through as Toad. I think that'll make it interesting. So, yeah, let's do it. Back when I was Broken D-Pad Gamer, I think I did a Let's Play of this, or actually, I might have done a stream playthrough. But I figured, you know what, this is an easy Let's Play that I can knock out in a day or two. Even less, probably. I could probably do this all in one sitting if I wanted to, but... It's currently almost 8 o'clock at night, and I don't know that I want to be up all night. Tomorrow I have to go out and get a puppy. So, that's fun. I mean, literally, it is fun. That wasn't sarcasm. I mean, I do love this game. It's one of my favorite just sort of sit back and play through it type games. And visually, it's impressive. So... Alrighty, let's go. And of course, you can switch your characters pretty much any time you want, but I'm going to stick with Toad. Just because Toad is awesome. Oh, I love the Koopalings. Fun fact, they are not, in fact, Bowser's children. They are his minions. At first, they were his children. But then they were retconned into being his, uh... His minions. Kind of a weird choice on Nintendo's part, but... Okay. It's not too confusing. Gosh, I love this game. I love the presentation, the visuals. I'll try not to gush about it too much, because... Really, like I said, a lot of people don't find it that impressive. But Alright, here we go. Welcome to New Super Mario Brothers U. Where do you think you're going, pal? Uh, well, I guess you're going where you wanted to go. Because I missed you. This Goomba right here. There's a lot I could do in this first level. I know where all the star coins are. I'm sorry, my Koopa brother. It had to be done. I love Koopa Troopas. I want a game where you can play as a Koopa Troopa. For real. I think that would be one of the coolest things. Although it'll probably be a while before we see anything like that if we ever do. But hey, a piranha plant made it in Smash, so... Progress is being made in the baddies getting higher status department. Bowser baddies are moving up in the world, slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. Like I said, I know where all the star coins are in this level, but... Many of the other levels, I won't be going for them unless I know where they are. Or just happen to run across them. But for the most part... It's just this level that I can pretty much sort of 100%. I never 100% my games, and I think I've mentioned this in my other LPs, but... I never really 100% my games just because... Unless I know I can do it 100%. It's just not that much fun for me. I just like going through the game. Enjoying the gameplay. Now let's see if I can do this the way the game wants me to. Dang it, I missed it. Oh well. End up missing coins, and that's, that's not a problem. One of the things that makes this game so easy is the ability to grind for lives in a lot of these levels. 
There's a lot of different ways to grind for lives. However, unlike games like Super Mario World, you can't exactly grind for power-ups as easy. Lives is one thing, power-ups is another. Alright. Acorn Plains 1-1 one, one, complete. Or Acorn Plains 1. I guess they don't do 1-1 one, one anymore. Gosh, I love these games. I really... I want to see Nintendo do another one of these, but on a bigger scale. I don't even... Oh, okay, that's just coins. I was going to say, I don't remember... But I know people are like, oh, Nintendo's just lazy. It's like, well, I really want to see them do this on a larger scale. And do something that feels more like Super Mario World and Super Mario Bros. 3 instead of just adding in elements. Because New Super Mario Bros. 2 tried to feel like Super Mario Bros. 3 with the whole raccoon thing and the tanuki leaf. But... didn't really hit that mark. Although I still love that game too. I love this whole series. Ow. Excuse you. One thing I don't like about Mario platformers as opposed to others is that they do have a time limit. It's never really a problem because of how easy the games are, but I just feel like it's an outdated concept. I don't- I'm starting to get to the point in my life where I just don't like time limits in games. I need more momentum. There we go. The older I get, the less I want to deal with time limits, so I get very impatient. So... I like to relax and play through a game and not feel like I'm being forced to rush through it. Red coins, here we go. And I'm playing right now with no volume. I mean, you guys will have volume, but I do not. I also do miss the bonus item slot, but I think they took that out because... I mean, the game is already ridiculously easy. Do we really need to add anything else? For people to complain about? And I don't think this version of the game sold very well, unfortunately. But it's still one of my favorite 2D platform series. And games. This is the biggest one yet. I'd like to see them go even bigger than this, though. I like the idea of what they were doing, but it still feels lacking compared to even older titles. Now this I thought was an interesting concept, the concept of Bowser turning Peach's castle into his castle, spoiler alert. I always thought that was cool. Because we hadn't seen that before. We've seen him abduct Peach's castle multiple times, but we've never seen him actually take it and make it his own. Alright, gotta pay attention here. This is not hard at all. Watch me say that and then screw it up. <laughs> nope, I was right. Now I have two pretty useful items in my inventory. The one problem I have with the inventory system is, for some reason, every time I play, I almost always end up with a surplus of invincibility stars. And as you can see, there aren't a whole lot of slots. There's only, let's see, one, two... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten slots, which sounds like a lot, but it really isn't. And they fill up quick, especially if you go for the bonus, you know, sort of stage bosses, mid-bosses, that give you items, and there's plenty of ways to get items. That's probably why they don't have a bonus slot. Sorry there, Dry Bones. And sorry for this, because I have to put you out of your misery. 
Here we go. There's a star coin up there. I'll go for it. And the regular coin while I'm at it. So you only have five minutes to go through these levels. Which I don't particularly care for, but it's more than enough time to do a little exploring. Get a couple things. So you guys let me know, what is your favorite 2D Mario game? Honestly, I said this is my favorite modern 2D Mario game. My favorite classic 2D Mario game has to be Super Mario All-Stars. Specifically, the Super Mario Bros. 3 in Super Mario All-Stars. Just, I love that game. I don't know what it is about it. I think because really it's the first Mario game I remember purchasing. So there's a lot of nostalgia connected to it. And even playing it today, it still holds up really, really well. Still waiting for Nintendo to put it on the uh, the Switch eShop, or Nintendo Switch, or Super Nintendo Online. I couldn't think of the name. But it hasn't come in this first wave of updates. It's only been Star Fox 2, Breath of Fire 2, Super Punch-Out, which is a good game. I like that a lot. And a couple other games, can't remember. But nothing that particularly interested me. Oh, I could have got an extra life there. That was my bad. There should be an item. Yep. Item box, so we can take on Boom Boom. Oh no, he's mad. I wish you could hit him while he was down. It would save me a lot of time. It's funny to think that the animation he's doing when he's on the ground is what he's supposed to look like in Super Mario Bros. 3. But in Super Mario Bros. 3, it looks like he's just shelling. Or shell shielding. I always thought that was interesting. Got a super acorn or whatever. Or is it just an acorn? I can't remember. Yoshi Hill! And see, this is where I feel like the game's potential just was lost. Whereas you can, you can play with Yoshi. But as you'll see... Unfortunately, unlike Super Mario World, you won't be able to keep him. And it baffles me as to why not. Because honestly, I mean... Having multicolored Yoshis, being able to play through multiple levels as Yoshi, and... Having him be a returning feature like he was in Super Mario World... I guess really what I'm asking for is Super Mario World 2. And nothing else has really been a Super Mario World 2, because, I don't know, I think Nintendo, I bet you their logic is something like, well, you know, Yoshi has his own series now, and we don't want to confuse people. It's like, you're not going to confuse people. All it takes is a Google search for any of these kids today to figure out that Yoshi, his first major appearance was... In, aside from Yoshi for NES, it was uh, Super Mario World. So no, nobody would be confused as far as I can tell. But who knows what their actual reasoning is. But he's fun to play with in this game. He controls really well and solid. He doesn't feel too OP like he may have in Super Mario World. I don't know, I don't really know what they were thinking. That would have been a much better design choice, but... 
it may have taken more time than they were willing to give the game. That's why I said, hopefully in the next installment of whatever they do, that hopefully you get the option to do that. And they can bring back the switches. No, not the consoles, the uh, colored switches. Like I said, basically I just want Super Mario World 2. Is that too much to ask, Nintendo? Well, apparently so, because there's a lot of things people want from Nintendo that they haven't done. Even though what they do is great, and I appreciate what they do. Can I jump off him? Like, Yeah, I can. Super Mario World style. Yeah, because I wanted that one up. Oh, I didn't even see. I hit it on the uh, thing so I can get an item. See, this is what I mean by getting items so easily. <laughs> They're just handing them out like candy. And it's a star. Surprise, surprise. And so it begins. So it begins. Alright, folks. Well, that's going to actually do it for this episode. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope you'll stick around for the following episodes. This one shouldn't be too long. And I'll see you next time. This has been Super Koopa. God bless. Have a good one. Peace.